So in the beginning, uh, friends and family were kind of like, fashion, really? You working in fashion? Then, or if you could introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Hi, my name is Ori Arconi and I'm CEO for Colorifics. In this industry, we're using over 70 highly toxic chemicals, over 30 of which are irretrievable, meaning if they end up in the water, they stay in the water and will end up in the ocean. It was startling to see so many of those chemicals came from textiles and specifically from making color and putting color onto fabric. Our populations increased by roughly a third over the last 25 years and our consumption of clothing has gone up by 60% per person. So first we need to fix what we're doing wrong and then we need to fix the damage that what that did. And I think it is possible but only if people actually get up and do something rather than sit and be sad about it. Ever since an early age, probably around 15, I knew that DNA and understanding nature's language was, was the thing for me. How one set of instructions can do so many different things. I look at all the color everywhere and think, where does it come from? How is it made? It's really fascinating to see the elegant biochemistry behind it. Colorifics helps to build a waste-free world by changing dyeing from a chemical-intensive, water-intensive, and energy-intensive process to something that's biological, and it takes place in a way that's very natural. Colorifics are using cutting-edge technology to change the way we dye our fabrics. By finding colors in nature, they add them to microbes which in turn produce pigments in a much more sustainable, much less polluting way than traditional dyeing methods. It's grown in a fermenter, much like the process of making beer, but instead of the alcohol, you're making pigment. Once it's making that color, it will divide and replicate itself every 20 minutes, so long as it has water, sugar, and nutrients, and keep producing that same color. So by using these engineered microorganisms, we get to dye at body temperature using less water. We're saving about 79% on water, almost 50% on energy, and over 30% on CO2 emissions for making the exact same color using the exact same machine in conventional dyeing versus colorifics dyeing. And we see that as quite important. Even if you have the solutions, if we don't put them in place in time, it's going to be over before we can start. And so it's really urgent that this and other technologies like it come to the forefront and get used and get support. By our very nature, we will always have an impact on this planet. But it's up to us to change our wasteful practices into positive gains for life on Earth. It's not too late but we urgently need many more solutions like these if we are to clean up our act and build a waste-free world. My sincere hope and belief is that we can work with nature to accelerate how it recovers.